Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how Magnet RAND Capture and Axiom can be used together uh, in order to recover information and artifacts. Um, we have a free utility called Magnet RAND Capture, like I say it's free to use, and that is just a self-executable file uh, which you'd run on the host or suspect machine. So for example, if this machine was the suspect computer, uh, you'd have this probably on a USB drive or other removable disk, and you just run it straight from the uh, removable disk. Let's load it up, and then a little disclaimer will come up, and then you'd present it with a screen like this. And it's basically uh, a case of you know where do you want to save it so in this instance you'd probably save it back to um, the, th the USB thumb drive so you're not contaminating the suspect machine as such and then we'll just give it a simple name like memdump save and then start and then that is basically it as you can see it's starting to capture the RAM so I'll just cancel that and show you one I prepared earlier. So then once you've done the RAM capture and you've saved the file and you've come back to your examination uh, computer, load up process, let's just call this RAM capture, uh, go to evidence sources and it will be under a computer. It'll, we're going to load evidence because we've already got it. It's going to be an image and here you can see is uh, that RAM capture dump uh, from a, another machine I did. So you just add that in. And you can see here that it, it doesn't have a recognized or known file system. So if you click next, the only search available to you is a sector level search. So just click next and then you can do uh, your processing steps as you normally would. And then for computer artifacts, you obviously select the relevant artifacts. For this example, you know we would select all of them in order to try and recover as much as possible. Let that analyze, and then I've pre-processed this, and you know there's a good set of information recovered just from a, uh, a RAM capture uh, from a, another laptop I had, which uh, had a four gig, uh, four gig of uh, RAM in it. Uh, and we can just have a poke around to see um, what's recovered. It's going to be a bit hit and miss what what's recovered, but you know there may be something relevant within this. So, for example, the identifiers. It's recovered a bit of information out about um, what's been loaded into RAM um, from the identifiers, link files. We can see what. You know what link files have been opened again all this is stored within uh, the RAM the event logs so uh, there's, a, there's a good bit of information to uh, have a browse through here like I say all of it's going to be uh, a lot of it's going to be incomplete or probably not necessary but it just gives you another avenue to explore and as I said you know you, you can drop this into you know another case if you wish or the, or the same case because it is its own, uh, for all intents and purposes, its own evidence, and uh, relatively easy to do. Obviously, that there are more thorough methods you can use to uh, analyze RAM, uh, but to get you started, it's a good way of uh, analyzing um, a memory dump uh, in a quick, effective way uh, for it to be reviewed.